Jesus is our forerunner, the author and finisher of our faith. Let us run the race looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Illustrations help us to understand this truth more clearly. And I want to use one more. Think if a billionaire, not a millionaire, B, billionaire, a very, very rich billionaire from some western country, comes to India to help the poor people who live in the slums of India, to teach them how to live without getting into debt, with the limited amount of money they earn every month, to teach them how to keep their little huts in the slum clean with the limited amount of money they earn. But this man is a billionaire. He's got a credit card. He can go to any ATM machine and draw thousands of dollars if he wants. But he comes here and he tells these people in the slum, I will work just like you. You know, carrying bricks or whatever it is in some construction site and earning, say, a thousand rupees a month or whatever it is. I will not earn more than you. I will earn just like you. And I will build a little hut here just like you build. And... I will show you how I can live with keeping the hut clean and not get into debt and live a clean life here. And they watch him. And if he secretly goes to some ATM machine every now and then and puts in his credit card and draws money, he's cheating. And if they see that, they say, hey, you can do that because you're a billionaire. You got a credit card. We don't have that. But he says, no, I'll never go to an ATM machine. I've got a credit card. I'm a billionaire, but I won't use it. I refuse to use my resources in the country I come from. And I will limit myself only to the resources you have. And he's true to his word. He never uses his credit card. He lives, works, and earns just like anybody else, lives like, a, lives like them, such a man can say to the others, follow me. He cannot say follow me if he keeps using his credit card. Now when Jesus came to earth, just like this man was a billionaire, when he was living in the slum, he was still a billionaire. That didn't change. He had billions in his bank account back in the United States or wherever he came from. But he didn't live as a billionaire here. He didn't use his credit card here. That is a picture of how Jesus came to this earth. He never used his heavenly credit card. His resources as God. Though he was God. He lived using the resources we have. Or we are offered. And so he could say to us, follow me. When we see this wonderful truth, we come to a godly life. It says in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, God was manifest in the flesh. That is the secret of godliness. 